here at Maryland Stadium with the Terps taken 38-35 over a surprisingly tough Indiana team. It was a good day for Leah. It throws for 419 yards. Turns off that shows up to 38 points. Indiana really puts the pressure on there all the way down to the last minute. You see the onside kick being recovered here. Well, this is it. We've got an onside kick. One minute to go. Terps have to have this. High hopper. And Daryl Jones brings it in. That did it. Trips going the victory formation. Get the fifth win. You need six to be bowl eligible. But boy, does it pick up after today. It's Penn State, Michigan State, Michigan, and Rutgers to finish out the season. The run game wasn't there early on. The defense was on Wayne Viner. First positives back in the studio. Mason's taking in Florida, Georgia today. The world's largest outdoor cocktail party. So I'm flying solo today. It was great to see Friedgen. It was great to talk to E.J. Henderson. They both were available to the media at halftime. That made it a special day. And we'd like to thank Rick Jacklitz, the big dog, for the season-long sponsorship along with Viner Fourgates. We'll be back in College Park in a moment. Viner Fourgates makes your company work. Make your company work with hybrid solutions from Microsoft and Nextiva. I spoke a few moments ago on the field with Josh Wilson. He was uh, happy, <laughs> of course, he has two kids with him. He was uh, doling out advice on how to be a better defensive back to our star safety number three. Um, he said that losing is contagious, but winning is contagious, and you just need to get the wins, and, and I agree with that. Any win, any way you can get it at this point of the season is positive. So what would you like about Maryland when they actually got down? 17 to, I believe it was 17 14. Maryland roars back. It, it got close later in the game. Maryland roars ahead. The offense was there when we needed it. Defensively, still very challenged, still very injured. There were moments there when even Ruben Hippolyte went out uh, for a few plays. You need everybody you can get. I was impressed earlier in the game. Maryland put four large defensive linemen out there to try and stop the run at work for a while. Uh, you know, two of the edge rushers are out. Durrell Chime is out for the year. Uh, I think it's Deshaun Holt uh, was injured. He doesn't play today. Uh, linebacker 44 that we've counted on to, to really shore up the linebacking core. Played a few plays, but basically it was McCullough and Hippolyte for the entire game. Uh, saw a good rotation of defensive backs today, and everybody up front played, including Tyler Baylor. Uh, Tank was in there, number 89, Anthony Booker uh, got a few runs. Ty Che Johnson had some run, number 40 made some good plays. So defensive line had some good plays. They were helped out when the Indiana quarterback held onto the ball too long several times, leading to a few Maryland sacks. Look, you won the game, that's all that matters. And now the focus can go to beating Penn State here next Saturday. The game time will be announced soon. We have to get inside and take a listen to what Mike Loxley has to say with his winning post-game post press conference. And I think you're going to get to see some uh, Carlos Carrier. I hope they bring him out to talk to the media. He had a huge game where it's number 83 for the Terps. Marcus Fleming looked good. Of course, Brock Jarrett. Uh, was spectacular at times. It's nice to win, baby. It is nice to win. For Bruce Foster, I'm Wayne Viner. Mason is in Florida today. Uh, we will see you on Turp Tuesday and, of course, on Turp Talk on 1300 The Bat in Baltimore Wednesday at 6 o'clock. Good afternoon from College Park.